Number 10. Jungle Hijinks. The level that starts out the game is number 10 on our list. When you first start the stage, enter the cave just below DK's hut. That is the Banana Horde. It's empty now, but if you come back here after you beat the game, it is full. The level itself is pretty straightforward. It features some basic enemies such as Naughties, Critters, Clumps, and one single Neki. It has a nice and lovely jungle atmosphere and one of my favorite songs in the game. This is also the first stage where you encounter one of your animal buddies, Rambi. Taking out enemies is pretty easy with him and you'll need him to access a couple of bonus rooms. This level is a great way to start the game. Number 9. Millstone Mayhem Number 9 on our list is Millstone Mayhem, a level set in an ancient temple. This level is the fifth stage in Monkey Mines. Progressing through this level is no easy feat. You'll come across various enemies in the game including a Naughty and a Millstone, Critters, Zingers, and Neckies to name a few. Be on the lookout for a tire you can roll on the ground. You can bounce off of it and find a hidden area in the stage with an animal crate that contains Winky the Frog. He'll make it much easier to progress through this stage. Watch out for the muscular Kremlin Crusher. This dude is jacked, so make sure you use Donkey Kong to take him out. Overall, this stage is perfect for our number 9th spot. Number 8. Orangutan Gang Number 8 on our list is Orangutan Gang, another level set in the jungle. This is the 5th stage in Vine Valley. Here you are met by a new enemy, Mankey Kongs, an orangutan that throws barrels at you. Sounds kind of familiar, right? A giant gorilla that throws barrels at you. Other enemies in the stage include critters, clap traps, and zingers. Be on the lookout for your animal friend, Expresso the ostrich. Writing the character makes it easier to navigate the level and find secrets. One seeker can only be accessed using his services, a secret that is found at the beginning of the stage. Overall, I just love jungle themed levels and this happens to be the last one featured in the game. I had to include this on the list. Number 7. Slip Slide Ride Number 7 on our list is Slip Slide Ride, which takes place in an ice cave. This is the second stage in Gorilla Glacier. What really makes this level unique are the ropes in the cave. If you climb on a blue rope, you slide up it. If you climb on a purple one, you slide down it. It is a unique mechanic in the game, and the way the level is designed, it can be pretty challenging. Zingers are featured quite heavily in this level. They are specifically placed around ropes, meaning you have to time your jumps off the ropes to avoid hitting them and getting in trouble. Other enemies featured in this level are armies, clap traps, critters, and neckies. The background is fun to look at, filled with ice and crystals. This is the only stage that features the music track, Ice Cave Chant. Pretty cool. Number 6. Forest Frenzy Number 6 on our list is Forest Frenzy, another jungle level based in Vine Valley. This is the third stage in Vine Valley. What sets this level apart from the other jungle levels on this list is the vines themselves. Instead of swinging on them, the vertical vines move horizontal across the screen. You have to move up and down the vines to avoid enemies such as Neckies and Zingers. There are also some basic critters to watch out for, but they are easy to take out. The foreground has nice green bushes to look at. The background has large black trees giving you a feeling of the death the force has, which is pretty cool. The music is nice, but I have a preference for other songs in the game. It is overall a fun level to play through though, and it offers a good challenge. Number 5. Minecart Carnage Number 5 on our list is Minecart Carnage. We had to include the minecart level, right? It is the first of two minecart levels in this game, and the second stage found in Monkey Mines. This level takes place in the mineshaft where Donkey and Diddy must ride a minecart across a series of rail segments. These type of levels are fast paced. Expect to die a lot in this level as you continually retry and try to get the timing down with your jumps. Watch out for Crash on the rails. He can be seen riding a minecart coming the other way. Make sure to time your jump well to avoid him. Overall, there are 9 crashes in this level. The background is dark and the music is frantic. This level will really get your adrenaline pumping. Number 4. 
Torchlight Trouble. Number four on our list is Torchlight Trouble, found in Gorilla Glacier. The level takes place in a dark cavern. Fortunately for us, the level features the first and only appearance of Squawks in the game. Squawks is a parrot. He is carrying a torchlight in his talons to help Donkey and Diddy progress through this dark stage. Throughout the stage, you'll come across clumps, crushes, make sure you use Donkey Kong to take care of these guys, and mincers. There are also a bunch of oil drums on fire you have to jump over. This level in general gives off a subtle, spooky vibe, but it is fun, unique, and has a good challenge to it. Number 3 Tanked Up Trouble. Number 3 on our list is Tanked Up Trouble, the first level you find in Chimp Caverns. You navigate this level by riding a platform on the rail, just like in the stage Trick Track Trek. There's a little caveat though, that platform needs to be fueled. You collect fuel barrels as you progress through the stage. Of course, since this stage is one of the last ones in the game, they get pretty stingy with the fuel adding to the challenge. Missing the barrel could mean sure death. You'll also encounter plenty of zingers, neckies, critters, and naughties on this stage. One thing I really love about this stage is the music. It is so good, you might not mind dying a few times just to hear it again. Although the stage is challenging, it sure as heck is fun to play. Number 2 Coral Capers Number 2 on our list is Coral Capers, the fourth level in Congo Jungle. This level is the first water level in the game. It is also the most straightforward. Water levels are usually detested in video games, but it is so easy to navigate through it, it is actually enjoyable. This level is also the first time you meet your shark friend in Guarde. Did I pronounce that right? It is fun to ride on his back as you kill Bite Size and Chomp Juniors. Another enemy you have to watch out for is Clambo. As they open and close their mouth, they spit out pearls to attack you. They can be a little tricky to dodge too. The real reason this level is so high on this list is the amazing music. The title track is Aquatic Ambience. It has to be my favorite song in the game, and given the amazing soundtrack this game has already, that is saying a lot. It is just so peaceful to play this stage, you gotta love it. Number 1 Stop and Go Station Number 1 on our list is Stop and Go Station. It is the fourth level in Monkey Mines. This stage takes place in the mine shaft and it can get pretty hectic to play through. The thing that really makes this level unique is the barrels you find throughout the stage. They start by showing go in green, but after you tag them they change to stop in red. You must continue to tag the barrels you come across in the stage to stop the rock croc from moving back and forth rapidly. When the barrel says stop, the rock crocs temporarily fall asleep. This is important as you can't kill the rock croc. You can only temporarily stop them from moving. You also encounter clap traps in the stage as well, so make sure you avoid them too. I think the general frantic nature, the constant urge to keep moving, and the overall unique gameplay mechanic really make this stage fun to play through for me. That is why I placed it number one on our list. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. That greatly helps me out. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted on future videos coming out. See you in the next video. Take care.